Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Sheep Hears My Voice Ministries. On today I will be teaching from 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. And the word of God says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And what this word of God is saying to us is that we have to endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Sometimes we're going to have things that happen in our lives that hurt us really bad. And sometimes we go through things because we fail to acknowledge God so he can direct our path in the way that he wants us to go. Sometimes we just make our own decisions and be in a hurry to do things or in a hurry to get things. And then we cause hardness to be in our lives. But the word of God says, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus endured hardness as well. So we're servants of Jesus Christ. So we're going to endure hardness just like Jesus endured hardness. Sometimes we endure hardness in our relationships. Sometimes we endure hardness in our marriages. Sometimes we endure hardness when we're raising our children. Sometimes we endure hardness on our jobs. But we have to endure it as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Because what does the word say? I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. And we go to church Sunday after Sunday and we sing this song. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. But if you a soldier, if we soldiers in the army of the Lord, it takes a lot to be a soldier. It takes a lot to be a soldier in the army of the Lord. They have to get suited and booted. They carry weapons. They have to train. It's a lot that goes with being a soldier of Jesus Christ. And sometimes we just want to be a soldier, but we don't want to put in the work and the time and the years to go with being a soldier. You don't just join the army and then all of a sudden you is a commanding officer. No, it don't work like that. You have to go through the steps and work and let Jesus train you and help you to get to where he wants you to be so you can endure hardness. Sometimes we endure hardness in a situation that we shouldn't even be in because it's not even time for us to be there yet. But sometimes we can jump ahead of God and allow hardness to be in our lives. Sometimes we can jump in a relationship that caused hardness to be in our lives. Sometimes we can go apply for a job or move out of state and don't, and don't seek the Lord. And now we have to endure hardness. Hardness is going to come because Satan don't want us to live for the Lord. He want us to stay out in the world and not read our word and party all the time. Never give God no time. Just everything is just fun all the time. No meditation with the Lord. No morning prayer. No praying before going to bed. No going to church. Nothing. The, the enemy want us to just ex God completely, ex Jesus Christ completely out of our lives. This is what Satan wants. And if he can keep us busy with doing everything else besides doing what the word of God have us to do, then he know he knows that Jesus is coming back. And he wants us to get caught unaware and not ready so we can be lost and go to hell and suffer that same fate that Satan is going to suffer for being disobedient towards God and trying to be bigger than God. We have to humble ourselves and we have to endure hardness. And a lot of people walk away from God because they feel like, okay, I'm saved now. My life is going to be easy. I'm saved now, so I'm not going to go through nothing because I'm serving the most high God. I'm, I, I, my life is going to be good. The, the Lord is going to bless me with a five-bedroom, five four bathrooms. I'm going to be driving a Bentley now. I'm going to have the best clothes now. I'm going to have the best job now. No, that is not what serving Jesus Christ is about. We're going to endure hardness when you when you serving Jesus Christ because you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer for what is right because in the world, wrong is right. So when you're trying to live what's, do what's right in, in a world that's wrong, you're going to endure hardness. And that's why God put this word in, put this word in his word, endure hardness 
as a good soldier. He could have just said endure hardness as a good person. Endure hardness as a good woman. Endure hardness as a good man. He said endure hardness as a good soldier. Because he's trying to let us see, if you read the word for what it is, he's trying to let us see that that's what it's going to take. We have to work and operate like soldiers when we're working for Jesus Christ. Because the enemy is out here to steal, kill, and destroy. And if he can discourage you through hardness away from serving Jesus Christ, then he won. Then he won. And we can't let Satan get that kind of victory. On today, I have on my glasses because my right eye is swollen. I, I got pepper, a pepper juice, a pepper juice from these chips in my eye. They call the ghost pepper chips. And I was eating them and a piece flew in my eye. And now my eye is swollen up. And so I just totally gave up and said, I'm not going to even teach because I can't get on social media with my eyes like that. But then I thought about it. No, I'm doing, I'm going to be about my father's business and I'm getting on here because it's not about me. It's not about the beauty and how I look. It's about sending God's word out because he said his word would not come back to him void. God is not worried about my eye being swole. His work still have to go forth. We have to be soldiers. We have to endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. So I just decided I was going to put my shades on and I'm going to keep it moving because I'm going to be just like Jesus. I'm going to be about my father's business and I'm going to get on here and I'm going to get the victory over Satan. He's not going to use that to stop me from bringing forth the word of God and doing what God called me to do. And that is what this about. That that is what this lesson is about. Enduring hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Sometimes, all the time, when you bring doing God's work, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be perfect. Sometimes you have to prevail and keep pushing yourself, even in the hard times, even in the difficult times. We have to keep going. We have to keep going and keep knowing that God is going to be there with us. He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So he's here with us. He's here with me now, even with my eye being swollen. He's still here. He's not using my eye. He's using my mouth. He's using my voice. So it would have been, well, how would that look if I just give up on God because my eye is swollen? So, he, so what? Get on there and do it, do what it is that I called you to do. This is what God is looking for. He's looking for soldiers. He's looking for someone that's going to keep moving, that's going to be steadfast and unmovable and always abounding in the work of the Lord. This is what God is calling for. He's calling for soldiers, someone that can endure, someone that will keep going, someone that, that will not faint. I could have fainted and just gave up. But I didn't. I pushed myself to keep going. And that's why it's very important to, to find you a nice church home and, and, ask, and, and pray and ask God to bless you with good leaders. Because my first lady called me this morning and she encouraged me. I was laying in the bed. My eye was hurting. I wasn't feeling good. And she called me. She was obedient to Christ. She don't even realize that she was being, I don't even know if she realized that God used her. When she called me and went to talking to me and we got to talking about the Lord, I got on up out the bed and went to dusting up and getting myself together. And before I got off the phone, I told her, I'm going to get on there and I'm going to teach. I'm not going to let Satan win. I'm not going to give him the victory. He's not going to prevail over me on teaching the word of God. Because I want to be about my father's business. I love the Lord and I'm doing all I can to live saved. And that's why I get on here. It's not about show or fashion or anything like that. I just want to do what thus says the Lord. I want to be right with God. And that's why I get on here and teach. Because I want... To help others through the word of God. I want God to use me to reach out and help my brothers and sisters that need help. And that's what this is what God is calling for. He's calling for soldiers. He's calling for us to be soldiers. He wants us to be soldiers and endure hardness. When them soldiers is sent out on missions, they're not going out to eat ice cream and cake. They're not going out to get um, shop and have a good time. They're going out there to fight a war. And this is what we have to do. We are fighting a war. This is a war going on. 
And God is calling for soldiers that will stand, that will put on their whole armor and be ready. That is what God is calling for. He's calling for us to get put on our armor and be ready to endure hardness as a good soldier in Christ Jesus. This is what God is calling for. This is what God is calling for. He wants us to be ready. So saints, let's get ready because we, we have a job to do for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God wants to use us to do his will. We don't have time to faint right now. We don't have time to be worried about, oh, my makeup is not right. Uh-oh, my wig is not right. Uh, my eyes swole up. Uh, I don't have the right, out. my shoes ain't right. God, he wants us to be ready. God wants us to be ready to work and be ready to get out here and win souls for him. That's what this is about. It's not about us. It's not about me. He's not worried about how pretty we look. He's not worried about how our bodies are shaped up. God wants soldiers, someone that will stand up for holiness and get out here and help get his work done. Because we're working for the Lord. We're not working for ourselves. We're working for the Lord. And sometimes we get caught up in thinking it's about us. And when we get caught up in thinking that it's about us, we can't reach anybody. God can't use us because we done made it to the top already. We done already made it to the top. We, we already in heaven. We don't need the Lord now. God can't use us like that. He wants us to be humble so he can use us. He wants us to decrease so he can increase. But we've been increasing and decreasing Jesus. And we can't, we can't work. He can't use us like that. He can't use us like that. In Ephesians chapter 6, the word of God reads. In Ephesians chapter 6. And let me get it, get it right, y'all. It talks about putting on the whole armor of God. In Ephesians 6 and 13, the word of God says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. So what is the Lord saying? Endure a hardness as a good soldier in Christ Jesus. He said in, in Ephesians chapter 6 and 13, put on the whole armor of God. Put on your boots. Get your, your weapons ready. Get ready because you're going to endure hardness as a good soldier in Christ Jesus. And that's what I wanted to get on here and just encourage and teach about today. Let's endure hardness as a good soldier in Christ Jesus. Let's be about our Father's business. If we're going to be more like Jesus, then we most definitely have to be about our Father's business. And I thank you so much for tuning in. And I ask y'all to pray for my eye because I know it's already done in Jesus' name. I love y'all. I love getting on here teaching and being able to share the word of God. It just, it makes me feel alive when I can do something for the Lord. And I will see you guys next time. And God bless you.